Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to talk all about the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette. This palette was actually leaked a couple months ago on social media, so everyone has known about this palette for a little while, but nonetheless, it is a beautiful palette, so let's get right into the review. The packaging of Soft Glam is pretty much the exact same as Modern Renaissance, and this is kind of the soft sister of Modern Renaissance. So you have the felt packaging. This one is in a more nude shade, and then you have Soft Glam written on the front. The packaging is so pretty, but this thing is like a stain magnet, so be aware, unless you're really, really careful with this, it is not going to look as pristine as it does when you first open it up. It is a cardboard package with a magnetic closure so it's going to be great for travel. When you open it up there's a mirror on this side and then you have your eyeshadows. The palette does come with a double-sided brush. It's great for in a pinch because on one side you have your fluffy blender brush and then on the other side you have a smudger brush. I use the smudger brush all the time to smudge out darker colors as eyeliner or underneath the eye. It's a very useful brush pretty much so hold on to it. You get your 14 colors here. As you can tell it is a very very, very neutral palette. So this palette is literally going to work for everybody. For people who love bold makeup, this is going to be a great pair to all your bolder colors. And for people who love more subtle looks, this is the palette for you. In here, you get eight matte shades. You have two super like diamond metallic shades. You have three normal metallic frosted shades. And then this one right here is more of a satin finish. All of the shadows in here are so stinking soft and pigmented. You need the tiniest bit on your brush to go a very long way and it's really easy to use because you don't have to be worrying about scraping product up to get color payoff. It also is so easy to blend out so on the chance that you do pick up more product than you are expecting you can really easily blend the shadows out. Just because it's a soft glam it doesn't necessarily mean that you can only get really soft delicate looks. You can get that plus so much more. I will say that if you do own Anastasia Beverly Hills singles or some of the other palettes Palettes, there is going to be a little bit of overlap. So for example, Dusty Rose is in the Modern Renaissance, Burnt Orange, I think Sienna Noir, Cypress Umber also. I think all of those are in other palettes or in the singles as well as Tim. Para. So a lot of the mattes pretty much, but the metallic ones and a couple matte shades are specific to this palette. There's a great variety of colors. You have warmer colors, you have cooler pinks, you have that dusty mauve, which is more of like a purpley base almost. It has a little touch of gray in it too. And then of course you have your great black matte shadow, which is just so useful to have in a palette. And if you're someone who doesn't own a crazy amount of makeup, this is going to be a great palette for you because the nice thing about palettes is that when color are put together in one space, it makes it easier to pair and group and play around with shadows. Otherwise, it can be kind of overwhelming to have like tons of different single eye shadows to choose from or tons of different palettes. You can find this palette now in Sephora, Ulta, or anywhere else that Anastasia Beverly Hills has sold. I think it's worth checking out at least. Again, if you have a ton of makeup, you might not find this quite as exciting. When I saw it online, I thought it was a beautiful palette, but using it, I'm really, really into it. Also, for anyone who is weary of Anastasia Beverly Hills post the subculture situation that went around on YouTube. Don't worry about that. The powders are powders so if you do pop into them or if you really dig into them you are gonna get some powder kick up because they are so soft but you don't need to be jamming your brush in here to get pigmentation and it's common to have kick up and to dust excess off for any product. It's not like this product you're gonna be wasting a ton by using using it just with a brush. There's a normal amount to fallout, so either do your eye makeup before your face makeup, or if you're like me and you wear a ton of powder and you've set your under eyes with powder, you'll be able to just sweep off the excess without having to worry about it staining your makeup. I just wanted to throw that out there for good measure. That brings me to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a comment down below for me and let me know what your favorite eyeshadow palette is. I feel like suddenly there's this massive onslaught of new eyeshadow releases and I'm so tempted to try every single one of them. Low-key, I probably will so that I can put out videos on them. But leave your favorite down below in case I haven't tried it. I would love to get my hands on it. But until my next video, thank you guys as always so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye!